Welcome to our kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Marco, and you are watching the Galbani Cooking Series. I'm gonna show you some fun and exciting recipes that we're gonna make with our beautiful fresh products, especially ricotta cheese today. Let's get started with a breakfast. I think breakfast is the easiest and most fun time to cook, especially with your kids, your family, your spouse, your friends, whoever you may be in the kitchen with. But let's make a grilled cheese. Let's start out with something very simple. We're gonna do cinnamon bread. We're gonna start out with caramelizing our onions. We're gonna use a red sweet onion and a little bit of butter. We're gonna add some brown sugar to it. Get that sauteing. A little bit of butter. And some brown sugar. Let that start cooking. There we go. And we're gonna use pancetta. I've already crisped up the pancetta. It's really nice, crispy. It's Italian bacon. You don't want to add any more oil to that. Let the fat render down. It'll crisp up really nice. So I'm using a Teflon pan. My wife loves to cook grilled cheese in a cast iron pan. I'm not gonna argue with her because I'm never right. She's my wife, of course. I use the Teflon pan because it doesn't stick. So we're gonna take our cinnamon raisin bread and we're gonna butter one side, flip it over, and start making our grilled cheese sandwich. The butter it's gonna let this toast up real nice, give it a nice crispy finish. So while we got that flipped over, we're gonna use a real good amount of our whole milk ricotta cheese. We're gonna add our pancetta. And our caramelized onions. So while this pan is getting warm, we're gonna melt down some butter. We're gonna close up our grilled cheese sandwich. And I have an egg mix right here. So once we dip it in our egg mix, both sides, we're gonna add it to our crumble. We're gonna coat that. And this is gonna give us a beautiful, crunchy, French toast-like finish. Let that start to cook. So I'm just gonna garnish our plate just for a little flair. Give it a little bit of a dimension, some fresh cinnamon, a little strawberry. This is something you can make every day of the week. It's easy, it's healthy, it's fun, and make it your own. So now that we've completed that beautiful granola grilled cheese for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, we're gonna continue on with a scrambled egg dish using the leftover ricotta cheese. Now I love putting ricotta cheese into my scrambled eggs because it makes it so fluffy and creamy. And it's just, it's a beautiful finish. So we're gonna add our ricotta cheese to our bowl. We're gonna get our Teflon pan heated up. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it, just for extra, so it doesn't stick, even though we're using Teflon. We're gonna crack our eggs right into the ricotta cheese. I'm using three eggs, and I'm gonna use some chives. We're just gonna whip this up until it becomes creamy. And if it's a little lumpy, that's okay, because once it gets into the pan, it's gonna melt. We're gonna season it with a little salt, a little pepper, and I'm using fresh chives. This gives it a great flavor. So we're adding our ricotta cheese, our eggs. I got the fresh chives in there, a little salt, pepper. If you don't wanna put the chives, you wanna put something else, mushroom, spinach, or if you have some leftover pancetta, you can throw that in there too. Make it your own as long as there's some Galbani ricotta cheese in there. So as it starts to cook and you see it start to form a little bit of a crust on the outside, you take a rubber spatula. You just wanna push the eggs in and just continue to fold them over. And as they fold, you let the runny part of the egg run down and this is gonna cook up real quick. So again, you're sending your kids out to school, throw this on the stove before they get dressed. It takes a few minutes, it's easy, it's healthy, and it gives them a lot of energy for the day. So while these eggs are still cooking, look at that beautiful crust that's getting on these eggs. I have a little bit of ricotta cheese left over. We're gonna turn it into a nice, healthy parfait. We're gonna take the remaining ricotta cheese, add it to our bowl. We're gonna add a little powdered sugar, just to give it some sweetness. Shop local, looking for the honey. Add it to our ricotta cheese for that beautiful sweetness. We're gonna use a wine glass. 
We're going to add it to our wine glass here. Build a layer. Some granola that was left from our grilled cheese. And some fresh blueberries and raspberries to go over the top of that. And the final touch, just zest down some fresh orange all over that. Put that in the refrigerator, eat that later. Or eat it for breakfast on your way out the door. While our eggs are cooking, I'm gonna use our traditional mozzarella. We're gonna grate it with a box grater. Put that right over the top. Let that melt, fall in love, get nice and creamy. Your scrambled eggs with ricotta and mozzarella and some fresh chive is done. It's ready for your table.